who was extensively talking with Chris last night after the GA about finding out, you know, what the best ideas for a route would be. And he has laid out um, a pretty specific route for us. Um, it, it, it does have, you know, some little details that we can hash out together, but here is basically what um, is the proposal. So it's a march uh, starting and following at 12 o'clock from this area. Uh, we can talk about what an ideal starting point might be. It might be here. It might be in front of the Millar Library, which is just about one park block down there, something like that, and head down using the South Park blocks, just heading down that way is our initial starting area. This was believed to be a good idea because it doesn't put us in harm's way in terms of taking up any streets, but it also doesn't constrict us to the sidewalk, which would really crunch us together. So we have about, um, I believe, six or seven park blocks or so of marching area up that way. Then we would head north. Uh, there's about three or four city blocks between the terminus of the South Park blocks and O'Brien Square, which would be a designated wait, rally. Wait, wait, wait. Sure, <laughs> sure. So we would, uh, after heading northbound on the South Park blocks for a while, there is about, let's see, one, two, three, four. There are four city blocks between there and O'Brien Square, which would be a designated rallying point for us to gather and protest for however amount of time seems necessary or prudent. Then there would be an option for two different ways that we would meet up with the folks coming who are going to be arriving over the Broadway Bridge that would be decided based on an assessment on the fly of our numbers and the kind of people there about what the risk about a police situation might be. If we feel confident, we could try for another rallying point at Pioneer Square, which is just two blocks east and two blocks south of O'Brien Square. Um, or we could continue due north and hit the North Park blocks, which are on the other side of Burnside. The North Park blocks, uh, uh, there we would be you know, in less police presence, and as it is just a park, we believe there would be less of a chance of harassment. Thank you. So, then the objective that he talked about with Chris at length was that the designated meeting point with the group who will be coming from the east side will be on this side of the Broadway Bridge. So we will be meet. The proposal is that we will be meeting this group of people um, at the west end terminus um, under the Broadway Bridge, joining up with them for the last leg of their march down NATO Parkway. So the way we would get there. Determine, is determined by the route we decide on after our rallying point at O'Brien Square. I realize that I'm going very fast. Um, so. Yeah. When you said stopping at Pioneer Square for yeah. the North Park blocks, <laughs> are you talking about, uh, you said a rallying point, between you meeting with the people or just staying there? Just staying there, making our presence known, holding up signs. Uh, Peter is picking up a megaphone and batteries. He has that that will be coming on the way, so we'll have that as well. So. Direct response and clarification. Okay. The, the direct response is that in O'Brien Square, I typically eat. There's a homeless feed there every day, every Sunday, and it goes all the way, really get, hits high point about two or three. Great. So that's an event that's there, and they probably love it. Great. It's a good thing. I'm saying this is like, this is, yeah, it's getting fun. Great. They'll so be right there. Um, that gap. Mm -hmm. What is, is there, you need to focus on like finding a route from that gap. Sure. Which we reach What's your name Correct. Craig, I'm Joe. Right. Joe. Right. So, so between the you're referring to between the end of the South Park blocks and O'Brien Square. Okay. So that would be a decision made at that time. If necessary, we can take the sidewalks. No one can prevent us from walking on the sidewalks as citizens. <coughs> we would, of course, be constricted. We'd be, you know, at the helm of you know traffic signals and things like that. But that would be an option. If we feel like we have a large crowd of people to really mount a march, then we can take to the streets between the end of the South Park blocks and O'Brien Square, which is about four city blocks. Um, so I, I still have a few more details to lay out on the route, but are there any very pertinent things about what has been covered so far right now? Um, I think it'd be good 
I brought this up a little bit earlier, it would be good for us to figure out if there actually is a farmer's crop market going on in the North Park of Is anybody willing we to go find that out, that out right now? Right now. got a phone or a computer? Don't go to Subway for a bathroom. Is what he's saying. Or buy a bag of chips. Or buy something if you need to use the bathroom at Subway. Yes. Thank you. Okay. So just to continue, the two options at this point on the route that we can discuss, I think whether there's a farmers market and other factors are going to be, you know, deciding factor in what we wind up doing. So march from here to O'Brien Square. Um, and then there are two ways to potentially meet up with the folks coming from the other side at the terminus of the Broadway Bridge. One is continuing basically directly up through the North Park blocks. The North Park okay. blocks end at Gleason. At that point, we can make a decision to then go on to Broadway and to continue up on the Broadway Bridge. Rally at the base of the Broadway Bridge, waiting for our brothers and sisters coming from the east side. Or if it's decided after O'Brien Square that we feel we want to try for a rally at Pioneer Square, that would involve going east and south a couple of blocks, rally at Pioneer Square, then head down to First Avenue and march north up to Everett, west to Broadway, and then north to the Broadway Bridge. So we had two hands up here, the woman. Okay. Uh, as, for, um, as for Sunday, farmers markets, there are none except the North Park one. So. Thank Probably be prevented from crossing, which will have a big impact on the group that we choose. Their website's really like, like that's what their website looks like. Right. It doesn't really show a whole lot of clarification. Uh, was the original question regarding getting from the street onto the marathon route to March? It sounded like the response was directed at any streets in there. I agreed with the question of how are we going to get from the street into the marathon? I mean, it's, it's all about. Don't make simple double confirm. Same guy that I actually talked to, works graves, heads a little, you know, day overlap, confirmed. He may have been mistaken. No farmer bargain. Thank um, you. Does anybody have a response not here. to. Is there anybody else that wants to speak? If I understand, you were asking to clarify what the previous question was, uh, and my understanding was that the question was about how we would get into the marathon. Do you understand? Does that answer your question? Okay, yes. I didn't understand the response that it gave. Okay. It sounded like uh, the Portland, Portland Marathon website was not having information about where there was a break. I think we're still trying to figure that out. Okay. Direct response? We actually walked by the Lovejoy Bridge earlier, and um, all that is blocking the route is like kind of like a metal barrier that are usually moved by me. Yeah, um, but I don't think. Yeah, I know. I don't know if they want it by me. I think <laughs> when the other uh, march comes down that way, then we can join in. Through the, I mean, if we get uh, confirmation. <coughs> That may be something that we want to ask the other team to get in touch with the marathon committee and see if that's something that we'd be allowed to move. So here is just a proposal that comes to me on the fly. Since the group marching from the east side has clearance from the Portland Marathon to be marching on the marathon route, 
I really feel that there won't be a major issue if we stop and rally behind the barricades until our brothers and sisters come down and then we can physically remove those barricades and join them. I, think, I feel that we'd be met with very little resistance, but I, I see to any other concerns. Clarification. From my understanding, from what Chris said, that was, from what he was talking about last night, that was my understanding of what he had in mind. Great. Uh, when he spoke at the liaison meeting. Just, um... uh, the, the thing I think he was concerned with is we want to make sure that that, that and, and he said, you, you know, we can't miss them. I think what, what his concern was that we make sure that we see him before we cross anything because we don't right. want, because they're being very <coughs> careful not to interfere with the race. Yes. So as long as we see them, you know, and then we can communicate, however, to make sure that that's not being done. Good uh, point of process. And then um, so do we, with the new information having gotten back to us, want to uh, reconvene the table uh, discussion on that earlier proposal after finishing up with some more comments on this? So, Mr. Chuck, recon reconvening uh, for those that are that here new, the proposal on whether or not we will be accepting this proposed route <coughs> on our march to, to meet up with the other marches. Concerns related to the untabling of that after some more comments. Okay. Um, <coughs> so, direct response to that? Direct response? Follow in that direction? We have to go again. Uh, I think that if we're going to be moving any barricades here, we got to be really respectful. Don't just put them anywhere. There's also, it's also my understanding that um, there are locations uh, along the route where it will be relatively open and we might not even have to remove any barricades. I'm not 100% certain of that, but that is my understanding. Yeah, there are um, smaller uh, black signs that they have uh, volunteers that they're on that that aren't like a big barricade. They're not like fully fixed at I don't know how receptive this group would be to this, but if you're going to go to the barricade and wait for the other group to come by, it might be helpful to let the, uh, who, whoever is monitoring the march, like if there are any police monitoring the march, let them know that you intend to go to the barricade and stop. Otherwise, they might think you intend to go to the barricade and remove it. Yeah, clarifying question. Um, so, is, how far is the how far is the uh, the, the proposed uh, early rally point the, the rally point right before the barricades? How how far is that? Like, could we designate some you know some people uh, to to go and check out? Hey, yes, they're there. Or using or the contacts over the phone that yes, okay, the barricades are down now. You can move from the you know the rally point there. It's just a question of. How close is the last rally point to the barricades? Right. <laughs> 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 